ladies, are you wasting 30 to 45 minutes on the treadmill and still not seeing results? Over the next five minutes, I'm gonna break down how to avoid doing cardio for 30 to 45 minutes every single day, all from the comfort of your home. And because so many clients have come to me wasting their time on the treadmill and not eating enough food to fuel their bodies properly, I have created a free cheat sheet that's gonna help you calculate your calories and macros with a very simple formula that does the math for you. All you have to do is drop me below this video and I'll drop it into your messenger, no email or any kind of opt-in required. My gift to you for watching this video. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Salome Abiger and in the last three years, I have helped over 100 women lose 27 pounds in the first 90 days with my program called The Dangerous Divas by Marley Coaching. And in every single one of my videos, I'm gonna give you a quick weight loss tip you can start implementing immediately into your health and fitness journey so that you can have the knowledge to succeed forever. And in the next five minutes, I'm gonna break down how to avoid doing cardio 30 to 45 minutes every single day so you too can start your fitness journey from home today. Let's go. All right, so let's break down why cardio five to seven days a week is not benefiting you. And I was just like you. I thought that cardio was the best solution for me to get to my goal, but boy, was I wrong. And I'm gonna break down why cardio five to seven days a week is not benefiting you. The first thing is that cardio seems like it's the best workout, but it could be so much better. And it's honestly a waste of time to me. The first thing is that you're not gonna be losing much fat you're gonna lose some water weight, the scale is going to drop from water and muscle, which is not what our goal is. We wanna build muscle and lose fat at the same time. Your metabolism is gonna slow down, which is gonna be a lot harder for you to get to your goals. You're gonna be tired, you're gonna have no energy, you're not gonna have enough rest for your body to fully recover, which is gonna make you dread going to the gym and doing that cardio session. You're gonna be a lot more prone to injury, so if your muscles are aching all the time, that might be the reason why you are doing too much. Um, not enough sleep might be a bit another thing, and boredom, like boredom of walking on the treadmill. I don't know about you, but I hate it. Then this number second is I wanna talk about ways to maximize cardio for fat loss. If you are going to do some type of cardio, I want you to do this and keep this in mind. What we wanna do is that we want to build muscle and lose fat at the same time, right? So what we are going to do is that most people do their cardio first and then they do their strength training, which is you're making your body super exhausted for when you lift weights or when you use your resistance or whatever it may be for your workouts, right? What we wanna do, if you are going to do cardio, you are going to do your strength training workout first so that your muscles are fresh and ready to go to break down and build that muscle. And then we're gonna do cardio after that to really maximize our muscle, our fat loss and uh, calorie burning. And I wouldn't do more than 15 minutes after a workout of cardio, because you're gonna be building that and you're gonna be losing a lot longer. But what I do recommend you doing from the comfort of your home, there are a couple things you wanna be doing. You wanna do three body weight workouts right from home and you can achieve so much from the comfort of your home without having to drive back and forth. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna do a upper body, a full body and a lower body workout three times a week. Another thing I would do is go to like two or three times, go outside for a 30 minute walk to get out and get your steps in just to be active. And then the next thing, as 90% of our results will come from nutrition, you wanna make sure that you get your total daily calorie intake to make sure that you're fueling your body the right way and that you are actually eating the right amount of food that you should be eating. I hope that helps. And what I've done is that because a lot of my clients have come to me wasting their time on the cardio machine for 30 to 45 minutes every single day and not eating enough food to properly fuel their body without getting results, I've actually created a free cheat sheet that breaks down and shows you exactly how to calculate your calories and macros with a very simple math formula so that it does the work for you and you can have it done. What I need you to do is drop me below this video. I'll drop it into your messenger. No email or any kind of opt-in required. My thanks for you watching this video. Talk to you guys soon.